Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about the most important topic from the chemical bonding, Fasan's rule. This Fasan rule is very important for chemical bonding as well as the other inorganic topics. So you are going to expect one question from this Fasan's rule. So let us go ahead with what is Fasan's rule. Before going for that, I just want to present you what is score examination. So, score examination is India's largest scholarship examination that is given by Infinity Lane. So, we are offering based on the merit on the scholarship, score examination scholarship. It is scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and laptop and educational allowances and scholarship up to 100% scholarship for the course you opted. And while late, you just click on the description box it is there available and you can click it and enroll for this core examination and this core examination you can sit at home and it is completely online examination you can write it all the best and to grab the facilities given by the score examination by infinity land also i just want to mention here NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack. Whenever you are preparing for some examination, you need to assess exactly how you are preparing. For that, Infinity Land is offering you Test Series Pack for your NEET preparation, which include 27 AITS examinations and 13 unit test, 4 part test, and grant test based on NEET pattern, and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test, and 25 NEET topic wise previous year questions and three physics chemistry books along with video solutions on the app and detailed solutions and performance report for every test and benchmarking with Sri Chaitanya student for prediction and accurate prediction of your rank and the score. And while at you just enroll use coupon code YouTube 50 off in the description box this test series pack link is available and you can click it and you are going to get 50 percent off it was 5999 when you uh, uh, give this uh, coupon code you are going to get 2999 or itna saste so you all grab this offer limited period offer and uh, prepare well for neat examination so let us talk about what is Fazan's rule Fazan's rule is based on polarization what is a polarization let us say sodium chloride sodium is a cation and chlorine is anion it is rich with uh, electron cloud so that uh, electron cloud of the chlorine is pulled towards the sodium so that what happens the shape of the anion is deformed so it feels like the this phenomena is called as a polarization because of this polarization this part of the electron cloud is in between two atoms it is feeling like somehow call a partial little bit covalent character so this is the basis of the Fasan rule so Fasan rule says more the polarization more is going to the pulling the electron and more is going to be the covalent character and this is based on the polarization and this is polarizing power and it has a polarizability so i just want to polarizing power the power of cation to attract the anion is called as a polarizing power and the polarizability is the ability of the anion to get polarized is called polarizability so polarizing power is the character of cation and the polarizability is the character of an anion in that i just want to say the postulates of a fasan rule so covalent character is directly proportional to polarization I can guarantee you after this session you will be clear with all Fasan's rule and it is given in three major time. So point number one, if the size of the ion, so cation jiska size kam hai, iska polarizing power jada hai, anion ka size jiska bada hai, iska polarizability bhi bada hai and more is the polarization more is the covalent character and also charge on the cation jo bhi cation hoga or anion hoga jis ion ka charge jada hai iska polarizing power or polarizability bhi jada hoga so that it has a more covalent character and also electronic configuration 
So the ion cation, especially with the cation, if it has eight electrons, is called noble gas configuration or inert gas configuration. If the outermost shell has 18 electrons, it is called pseudo noble gas configuration or pseudo inert gas configuration. For that pseudo inert gas configuration, it is going to have more covalent character. So this is the three major points I just want to give you. If the polarization is directly proportional to charge on cation, inversely proportional to size of cation and directly proportional to size of anion and in directly proportional to size of anion and this polarization is directly proportional to covalent character. This is the simplest technique I just want to give you. Say an example covalent character you say I minus Br minus Cl minus F minus sodium plus Br minus so like that if you say as the size of the ion increases it is going to increase its covalent nature so for a fixed anion you have to check whether anion is fixed or cation is fixed for you can see beryllium magnesium calcium and barium chlorine is anion is fixed here beryllium is a small and magnesium is big calcium is or but I strontium and barium as the size of the cation increases covalent character decreases so more covalent beryllium chloride less covalent beryllium uh, barium chloride and also you can see sodium chloride magnesium chloride aluminum chloride this cation ka charge jada hai sodium plus magnesium 2 plus aluminum 3 plus silicon 4 plus so it is going to be more covalent it is going to be more ionic charge on cation increases covalent character increases and ionic character decreasing so ionic character more ionic is going to be more melting point less ionic is going to be less melting point and more ionic more soluble in water less ionic less soluble in water like that you can see f minus o2 minus n3 minus charge increases covalent character increases that's the reason why aluminium nitride aluminium oxide aluminium fluoride that is the order so aluminum nitride is more covalent aluminum fluoride is more ionic so simple method i just want to say first to check the charge check the size of the cation relative to the size of the anion just a simple trick big cation small anion is more ionic and uh, small cation and a big anion is going to be more covalent if the charge is same so you use this logic you can go with the super awesome questions from especially for the neat examination when you talk about the sodium chloride and the copper chloride sodium chloride outermost has h electrons copper 2 plus has 18 electrons in its outermost shell 18 electrons means pseudo inert gas configuration so that it is so more polarization power and it is going to be more covalent nature that's the reason why this slide has been given. Just check the outermost electron configuration. And let me summarize it. Applications of Fazan's rule. In the first one, it is used to compare the covalent ionic nature. More polarization, more covalent. That's it. And it is used to compare the nature of oxide. More polarization and acidic oxides. And uh, the compare the electrical conductivity more polarization more covalent less is the ionization less is the ionic conductance and tendency to the formation of complex compounds more polarization and more is the effective nuclear charge more is the tendency to form complexes and also to compare the thermal stability of metal salts more polarization more stability and more thermally stable compounds and also compare the intensity of the color compound due to polarization the compound anion electron comes in between the cation and anion they acquire little charge density so the excitation of the electron in the bond pair takes place so it is going to have the intensity of the color that is the reason why silver chloride is colorless silver bromide is pale yellow silver iodide is yellow so silver iodide is more polarization more is the color like that fazan's rule explains you everything about the total inorganic chemistry behavior stick on to these rules and apply this rule for cracking neat multiple choice questions 
Hope you enjoyed this session. Please like this session and share with your friends and subscribe to Infinity Learn Neat YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.